Hi everybody, I'm Firehawk and I'm Amy. And the two of us are your guides for the eight week course called The Practical Magic of Online Hosting. Amy and I have been working with these ideas, with this work, for about the last eight years. And we've offered a number of courses uh, about online hosting and about tech hosting. And this course is really the synthesis of all of those years of what we've learned and what is useful and what do you need to have in order to practically and artistically host people in what we call the digital realm. But before we get into the nuts and bolts of what this course is about, I want to give you a ground that's underneath this course. You can imagine, you know, <clears throat> what, would a, what would a house be without a foundation? And this idea that we're going to share with you at the beginning of this video is the foundation for the work that we've been doing and for this course about online hosting. So, here's the idea. Most indigenous peoples, no matter what culture, all over the world, hold life, all of life, as sacred. That's just how they see it. And it's a pretty empowering idea that all life deserves reverence, respect, all life and that we are all together on this planet Earth. It, we wouldn't have life without this Earth or without the sun. So this idea that all of life is sacred, as we started to work in the digital realm you know, eight years ago or so, our premise was that the digital realm, like all of life, is sacred and we could behave and design and gather and do our work in this realm with that as a premise that all of the technologies that are part of you being able to see and hear me now and for us being able to gather together people from all over the world all come from the same place we do they all come from the earth every single technology that makes this possible. Now, there's a lot of inventive human minds that have created all of this, but that's not where it comes from originally. Without the Earth, we would not have these technologies. So that's our premise, that the digital realm, like all of life, is sacred. And we intend to offer this course as a way to, for you to be able to make that true for yourself. We don't ask you to just accept it because we say so. It's something that you need to understand and then apply yourself. And that's what this course is about. How do you do that? So why is it called practical magic? Let's talk about practical first. This is an online course. We're offering a course for you to take. It has eight sessions and we want to give you the practical information that you need to know in order to be able to gracefully and powerfully host people in the digital realm, in online spaces. And there's a lot of it. There's a lot of practical information in this course. But that's not all the course is about. And so that's why the word magic. There is an art to gathering people. You know that. If you if you've ever hosted people, particularly large groups of people, um, there's a whole lot of art in doing that. And so marrying the practical with the artistic, the practical and the magical together, is what we're doing in this course. So for everything you learn about the practices and pragmatic things about how do I host people, how do I gather people online, You'll also be learning about what's the magic of that and how do you design for that magic? How do you court that magic? How do you make online events magical? Because when they're not normal and boring, 
and there are many, many, many of those, as you know, some other things are possible. Other insights, other learning, other collaborations, other, uh, other things happen when there's magic in the room and in the air. And so we want to combine all of the practicalities of how do you host someone in a digital space well with the artistic and the magical aspects of that as well. And we want to, to show you how those two things dance together.